There's a lot of information on the interwebs about what you need in order to be a successful photographer or videographer. And a lot of times they go beyond just the camera and the lens, which there are certain tools and certain items that you need to make your life easier. But I feel like we miss the mark whenever we're discussing this a lot of the time because we want to talk about the sexy things, the filters, the things that make our camera rigs look cool, like the different handles, grips, and matte boxes, etc. Um, this case, this peak design, whatever, this kind of strap, that stuff kind of just goes by the wayside never it comes to the actual necessities and the actual things that make a difference on a set whenever running grip whenever doing dock work or just doing personal photography work there are only a few handful of items that I actually would recommend that everyone start investing into and I'm going to list those tools today and I call them tools because in my personal idea a tool is something that I'm bringing because it actually performs a specific function that will always arise on the job that I'm doing. Not everything is a necessity just because it can uh, provide a function for you on a rainy day situation. And in the same way, not everything that provides a function in a rainy day situation deserves to be a necessity that gets carried with you at all times. So these are the tools that I have in mind whenever it comes to absolutes, things that I always carry on me and I will always have them on me, whether it's a paid assignment or just a simple photo walk. The first item is the biggest item and I have it in multiple different flavors, multiple different forms, and that is a multi-tool of some sort. And listen, not all of them have to have a blade. They don't have to be a $100 Leatherman. They don't have to be a 40 dollar Gerber armbar. They don't even have to be a $20. Uh, this is a small rig little driver tool to be able to fasten things. It could be a $5 little Gerber Sharp that has a flat head, that has a pry bar and a Phillips screw. All that matters is something that is versatile enough to handle the things that are actually going to happen on a set or while you're taking photos. Things like screwing in an L-mount bracket, things like being able to cut gaff tape or being able to cut a thread off something, things like having pliers that are able to fasten down any kind of loose bolt or anything else that you would need, including something like a Victorinox from Swiss Army Knife that has something, you know, like a little pull tab hook uh, that can hold something up. It doesn't matter what it is. These are great tools. I absolutely recommend anyone getting some kind of multi-tool that has a plier as well as a wire cutter. I can't tell you how many times I was running grip and having to run lights up over someone for a hair light in a certain situation where I had to use belling wire because there was only pipe and there was no drop down ceiling for me to be able to use a clamp or anything in between. So when you're out of clamps, when you're out of areas to be able to fasten to, you have to use all that you have. Belling wire really does come in handy. It's something I carry up with me a lot of times whenever I know I'm doing grip on a set. And with that, these pliers have a little wire cutter right here and it works like a charm. It comes with a nice knife that does well for cutting things, opening up boxes, as well as files. There's just so much small little pry bars. And of course, on here, a flathead and Phillips head screwdriver, which can also help, again, fasten things down to your camera or to your rig. This is a multi-tool that I would recommend to anyone. It's not TSA safe. Unfortunately, this will be pulled out of your bag unless you uh, check the bag in, but it won't be carry-on approved. But a Leatherman, this Leatherman Bond, is something that I would definitely, definitely approve of. You can get anything. It doesn't have to be one of these. It could be something around $50, $60, like a uh, Leatherman, I think it's um, a rebar or something from Gerber, whatever. Uh, SOG makes amazing tools, but a multi-tool like this with a plier, I think is the best way to go. But you can also get something like this Gerber arm bar. The reason why I like this, it has a blade on it. Again, cutting tape, anything like that makes it a little bit easier. But then it has two things that I really, really love. Number one, it has a driver on here. So I have a nice little set of a Phillips and a flathead. I can now carry with me a little pouch with other drivers that fit into here. I can have my T25. I can have uh, anything that has to do with a hex. Um, you know, however many sides I need, a little peg driver square. So this right here is a really good tool for that. It doesn't lock in place like the knife does, but a little bit of tension, a little bit of holding with your thumb up against it, it goes a long way. More importantly, it has a really good set of scissors. And I'm telling you right now, there's so many times when working with models, when working with clients, where you need to cut something off and having a set of scissors like this and not you having to use a knife, just kind of makes people a little bit more comfortable and also gets the job done. And plus, this is very fun. So a nice little set of scissors and it's very small, fits in a pocket. This is the easiest one, in my opinion, to carry just because of how small it is from both sides of the form factor. And then we're gonna go finally to this right here, which is from Small Rig, and it just has, just has everything you need. This is TSA approved um, and it has everything you need from a little flat bar right here that takes the place of that quarter in your pocket so you can screw on any kind of uh, thumb screw 
that uh, is needing to go on the bottom of your camera for a rig or anything, but it has also everything T25. It has a Phillips head screwdriver. It has any kind of hex bit. Um, this right here is just a major, major, major go and one that I absolutely recommend to anyone. Um, Multi-tools, you should have one. Before I carry on, I just want to let you guys know I never promised any of these things would be sexy. They're all just practical and they're all things that I actually carry, including this next item, which is gaff tape. Now you may be thinking you carry gaff tape because you're on sets or you're working dock work or you're miking people up or you're having to hang things up. And that is correct. That's why I carry gaff tape to do every single one of those things, to be able to protect my cameras if I'm putting them in rigs and different cages so they don't scuff up on the side, to be able to uh, tape down mics to be able to take down cables so that people don't trip up to be able to adjust mics or set them specifically on somewhere on someone if there isn't the correct clip or something's not working right to be able to hang up different types of lighting like the little LED pucks there's so many things that gaff tape can be used for but I don't always carry this with me if I'm doing something like a photo walk so instead I have this right here is a silver pin that I have because this silver pin will show up on this black gaff tape and it's got gaff tape wrapped around it if there's anything that's going on if someone if I buy something trade for something from someone letting someone use something I can rip this off put gaff tape on there put my name on there if there's anything that I have to do with writing anything I've got this nice little sharpie on here um, as well as honestly if I get a little boo-boo this is a great little boo-boo holder put a little piece of tape right there or gum on your finger and then wrap it around and you're good to go gaff tape is something that I truly do believe that we should just carry uh, you can go to pro or get some uh, from pro gaff I think on BNH or on Amazon, I get the smaller gaff tape because I am a horizontal, um, meaning a, I think, what is it called? Not perpendicular, but, uh, oh, perpendicular gaff taper instead of parallel gaff taper. Um, and that's just the way that I roll. So definitely recommend this, but this little hack right here for wrapping it on your Sharpie of choice, really, really good idea. Carry it with you everywhere. Again, gaff tape is very, very vital. It's really nice, and if you're the kind of person that's worried about someone gear checking you, it's really easy to wrap up your logo whenever you have gaff tape on you if you forgot to do it at home. So the next tool is an L-mount. This is not sexy, this is very boring, but it is something that I use quite a bit. Anytime that I'm traveling, um, and a lot of times whenever I'm walking around or doing a photo walk, and um, I think there might be an opportunity for portraits, like if I'm in downtown San Antonio, I wanna take portraits and I wanna bring a tripod, this is what I bring. I don't bring a Arca Swift type, I don't bring a full cage, um, I don't bring any of the Peak Design capture clips or anything, I bring this right here. I got this, I don't even know the brand, it was on Amazon it was $14 it has lasted me these L mounts uh, or these L brackets a lot of them have different places to put more um, things on there it has quarter 20 screws uh, every single place on it so you can actually attach extra things so if you're wanting to run and gun with a lightweight setup I almost dropped my camera you can actually use one of these and the best part of these um, is that when using them for portraits if I'm doing a portrait shoot I have this on the camera I'm using and the reason is, is I always bring a tripod, I always bring this camera, and so if I always set it up, um, and let's say I'm shooting this direction, if I want to shoot now, instead of horizontal landscape, I want to shoot vertical portrait, all I have to do is turn the camera because it has the Arca Swiss um, rails right here. The reason why this is better than um, just lowering or heightening up your tripod is because now I don't have to change the orientation of my sensor. So I don't have to reset the tripod to get the exact same look. I don't have to raise or adjust anything. I can just slide on, move over, slide on, and everything is absolutely the same. It makes it easier, it's quicker, as well as I know I'm getting the same kind of perspective both times. So really huge fan of these. This isn't sexy, but also you can put grip on here. If you're running video, you can go ahead and screw in a little handle right here to be able to use this for video. And again, it still has an Arca Swiss type mount on the bottom. So you can slide this into majority of any of the gear you're using. One of my favorite ways to use this is if I want to have a really slim down running gun setup and I have a little battery, I just bring a little V mount battery plate. I tilt it this way. And now if this was a video camera, I have a nice little rig where I have my Arca Swiss. I can connect anything back here with a V-mount plate, connect my V-mount, run all my connections, have my monitor up here, be able to power that as well. And this is something cheap, easy, and quick to be able to use if you're someone just barely working on building out a video rig and you're someone like me that travels and you want a cheap, quick, lightweight video rig for just some impromptu B-roll or some impromptu A-roll. Again, I never said this is gonna be sexy. The next tool is going to have to be a handkerchief. This is going to be on my belt loop around my fanny pack because I carry fanny packs a lot of times, especially on set. Or if I'm carrying this around my bag, it's gonna be in my bag, gonna be in a pocket. If you ever 
seen me out and about, I most likely 99% of the time, unless I took it out to wash it and forgot it, have a handkerchief. This one is actually absolutely just recently washed. Uh, reason being is not so I can clean things and not so I can cover my face and protect myself like a lot of, I don't know why people like to LARP and pretend like they were ever former military service. It's the weirdest thing ever to me. But this is actually something a lot easier. If I have a tool or if I have a lens that I'm having to swap out real quick and I don't have the bottom lens cap for it or something, I can throw it in there wrap it up and now put it in my bag and I know that it's safe. If I have water, if it's starting to rain um, and I want to cover up my gear and I don't have a bag on me right away because I carry a plastic bag too, boom, I can do this, wrap it up, hold it over me and now it's a little bit more, more protected. Did I get a splash on me? Yes, I have it right here. I carry this instead of a microfiber cloth even though I do have usually a small microfiber cloth but this is more important to me than a microfiber cloth because microfiber cloths, the texture of the material isn't as uh, durable and it, while it is absorbent, it does hold on to water, but also pushes and secretes water a little bit easier than something like this to where a few wipes, I'm not completely dampening the whole um, structure of the actual handkerchief, the bandana. So this is great for that. Also, if it's ever windy and stuff like that, again, you can just cover up your gear. You can tie it tight and have it there. Great for boo-boos, um, great for whenever you're just trying to uh, get some extra street cred on the set. Don't do that. Actually, never absolutely say that. I don't know how many people take that seriously. Seriously, please um, know your environment and if you're scary don't show up but great great tool I always carry one of these they're cheap just buy a pack from a Walmart buy a pack from HEB buy a pack from an Aldi I know they have them at all of those places buy buy go to Goodwill and get like the 19 of these that are in a bin they're a godsend they come very very in handy to be able to have stuff uh, pouched up tied up uh, saved um, to be able to have padding it's just a good choice bandanas Finally, the last tool is something that we all think about, but I mentioned it earlier whenever a construction worker has a tool belt. A tool belt is also a tool, and that is probably one of the most important things. So because of that, I always roll with dom key bags. And the reason is because they're durable, they're weather resistant, um, and they just get the job done. They don't bring any attention, they're not flashy, honestly, when I walk around with these, I've got multiple. I've got the Domkey F2. I've got this one, which I'm not sure which the uh, which series this is. I've got the Dom Domkey S S X B. I even have the Domkey Vest. And the reason why I have these things is because they're durable. They last. This one is over 30 years old. And the fact that you know they were made with photographers in mind. They weren't made with the mind of oh, I want to have something that looks cool so that people want to buy it. They were made with the thought of journalists, photojournalists, and people that are reporters are gonna use these. What gives them the best bang for their buck so that they can have these items and they last forever? And they've always uh, gone by that kind of idea. And because of that, you have stuff that just lasts. This is a bag that I use for 99% of the time. If you ever see me walking out and about, this is the bag that I'm gonna use. My Domkey F2 is gonna be my bag for any kind of photojournalism assignment to where I'm gonna to have to run two cameras or any kind of sport assignment. Um, I have other bags that I have from Brevity, I have from Think Tank, I have from Low Pro, and they're great bags. I absolutely love them, but whenever it comes to having a bag that just gets the damn job done, I always go with Domkey bags. I'm not sponsored by Domkey, I'm not affiliated, but as someone who has seen the way that these things work, I have seen the way they're built, I have seen the durability, the agelessness of these absolute tanks, which every single one of them, I would rather have something that looks good whenever it comes to, um, a, you know, just looks good enough whenever it comes to the form, but give me all the function. Yes, it doesn't, may not have as many zippers. Yes, it does not, uh, it, it may not have as many little pouches and things like that. But you realize that when you just have what you need to have, you only carry what you need to have. The more pouches, the more zippers, the more little places, you carry extra things. You're carrying extra film. You're carrying a film um, pull, a film tab puller. You're carrying um, these extra SD cards. Now you're carrying a mic. Now you're carrying these things because I may make content. But with these things, they're specifically built for specific situations. And because of that, they are specifically correct for those situations and they suffice every single need that you may have. Donkey bags are the one bag that I will continue to recommend when it comes to people that are trying to get something durable and long lasting. And I'd rather buy once, cry once, even though these are very affordable, buy once, cry once, than you know, buy every couple of months or years because I can't find one that truly fits me. These fit me, these are great, Dom Key till the day I die. Shout out Dom Key. I don't even know if you guys are still owned by yourself or if you're a Tiffin product, but I love your products. Someone hit me up from there. 
So with all that being said, I hope this gave you a little bit of insight to the tools that I actually use for photography, why I use them and why they're important to me. And I believe that these little sets of tools are the only ones that you need to be able to have to start and you can carry them with you everywhere you go and you're gonna be just fine for 99.999% of things in any situation. Whether you're a street photographer, a videographer, a photojournalist, a sports photographer, portrait photographer, it doesn't matter. If you have these things in your bag, you're gonna be set up to win. Take it light, but take it. Have a good one.